Hello uh, and welcome to Time Buckle Tea Talk. Uh, you're joined by me, John Dugan, and my good friend, his favourite finisher is the Five Knuckle Truffle, Kieran Cooper. How are you doing? I'm good. <laughs> it's a weird look for. It's not my favourite move. I don't know why I said that. <laughs> Not like a five knuckle shuffle, no. Well, I like it, but someone's <laughs> favourite number four. I'm looking forward to that move. Um, I've got to say, I'm disappointed in you, Kieran. You're looking silly at the minute. <laughs> and why is that? Because I'm not dressed as a. Uh... So this one oh, come on. obviously on the day, but it's World Book Day. Mm. I am dressed in my World Book Day costume. Can you just explain what it is? Because you like Scooby Doo without the, you know. It, well, it's a it's a fox costume. I'm a fox. I see. I was um, a fox and socks. So, because I work in a nursery, we dress up as uh, book characters. So the the group I'm in, it was Doctor Zeus characters. Okay. So like should have gone, gone as so, the Lorax. Someone already did that. Oh. I kind of bagged you this. It was the easiest to do. And the one that could actually cook in. <laughs> uh, but yeah. Did you ever dress up on Bob Blue Day when you were at school? It was never a thing for us. It must be a new thing. Yeah, it's quite new. I did one year, but it's because... We did like, um, oh, I forgot to say, go and make a cup of tea if you haven't. Um, do you, you know in school when you do like assemblies and you've got to do a little presentation? I don't mm. know if they do in America, but if anyone, well, people watch from America. Yeah. Uh, and we did it on World Book Day. So I dressed up as someone from a, one of my favourite books and no one knew who I was, so I was gutted. And who was you? <laughs> so, do you remember, I mean, it got turned into a TV series, but it was, um, there were books I used to read called Just William. Do you remember that as a TV show? <laughs> <laughs> so it's set, it was still really good. It's set during the war and it's like a little scallywag keg called William. And it's just William and what he gets up to. But uh, so we had to like read out about our character and giving clues and people from the audience had to guess. So my clues were like, you know, I was alive during World War II. Um, my sister's called this or whatever. Things from the book. Right. And I only got one guess and then I got, <laughs> I was just so annoyed and no one knew who it was. So the guest, uh, so my next door neighbour, Pete's hand up. And he said, are you Oliver Twist? And I was like, no, I'm just William. <laughs> no one got it. <laughs> yeah, I'm not, I'm not surprised. Oh, the great books. Mom, it's written in England down Devon way. So my uncle and he um, lived down that way. So they used to send me a book every year at Christmas. So I used to read them. What was your favourite book growing up? Did you used to read? Yeah, yeah. Um, I like Roald Dahl. Mm. Um, What's your favourite Roald Dahl? Mm. It's got to be The Twits. Well, I don't remember The Twits. It was two, it was an elderly couple and they hated each other mm. and they played pranks on each other. So one of them, um, the man, not sorry, the woman, the wife, shortened the husband's uh, walking stick at, Inch by inch every day. <laughs> so why are you shrinking? Uh, it's good. Main Rodal wise, main was either Matilda or um, George's Marvelous Medicine. Now I've got a damper on this just for a slight moment. Okay. Do you know about Rodal? About his life? There's a film out at the minute about him, isn't there? Well, apparently, I got told by a very reasonable source, a good friend of mine who um, is quite knowledgeable about books and stuff, they said that Roald Dahl used to drug his daughter so he could have an affair. Oh. Yeah. And um, 
that one day his his daughter kind of woke up early and discovered, you know, that she was being drugged, so her dad could have an affair. Oh, I didn't know about that. Yeah, it's I might have to look into that. It sounds very dark. Mm. I thought it was some My, sweet old man. Well, yeah. Um, my favourite ever book was uh, Dr. Doolittle. I used to read that all the time. See, to the, I, to the point, though, well, like, because we used to borrow books from a class, I would just bring the book back to get it restamped. And my teacher eventually went, John, you're going to have to give me the book and we keep it, picking all the book. You've read this book. <laughs> You've returned this 12 times and took it back out again. Read something else. And I was Are just you like, Matilda? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> See, I never really read actual books. I mean, I read like Roald Dahl and that kind of stuff. But, Goosebumps? Um, I dabbled. But dabbled. My, I you know? heard um, like autobiographies. So I mm. remember reading uh, Michael J. Fox. Um, when he first got his Parkinson's, mm. um, it was called My Gift. Because um, he first with Parkinson's as his gift. And uh, that's, really, that's a really good book. And then I read um, John Tavolta's autobiography. I was What's young. That? I was young. Um, I, I, I prefer autobiographies now. That's all I kind of read. Yeah. That's all I um, read. Yeah. I remember. And, um, I also Come read on. actually um, Where's Wally if that counts <laughs> I used to get Where's Wally remember they did um, like history and geography ones and yes, yeah yeah they were, they were really good well I did that I, I got it every week and before I moved to Spain I sold them at a car bit but they're probably worth a lot of money now aye but I quite like history so uh, yeah DUI <laughs> um Best autobiography I've read, which is interesting, is uh, Sammy Davis Jr.'s. It's a pretty good okay. one. I didn't know he had a glass eye until I read it. Mm, I didn't. I think it is, is it Sammy Davis Jr. or is it Frank Sinatra? One of them. So their gimmick was that they drank every night on stage. Mm. Well, obviously, that's not, that's not possible. So they drank like apple juice. You know, uh, um, some people thought it was whiskey. It may have been Dean Martin. Dan, Dean Martin had that sort of persona. Yes, I think it was Dean Martin. Content. Yeah, yeah. I used to I love the Rat Pack and all that. Speaking of lazy eyes, um, <laughs> oh. <laughs> I only found out yesterday because I, wa I watched the uh, Biggie documentary um, oh. on, mm, was it, I think it's on Netflix? Biggie, I Have a Story to Tell. Um, Biggie Smalls has a lazy eye. Oh, Biggie Small. Mm. I thought you meant Big E, as in the wrestler Big E. <laughs> no, Big e. I thought Big you e. said Big E, because there's no, a documentary no. on Big E on the network. Yeah, I've not like, seen that. No. no. I had a lazy eye, didn't I? Yeah. Well, I want to watch that documentary. It looks good. It is good, yeah. It's just quite... If you're not into rap music, it's not for you, because it's quite factual about, like... You know how some documentaries, like, even if you don't really know the artist, you can get into it quite easily. Mm -hmm. This one is very factual about hip-hop and kind of the streets he grew up on, grew up on, and, uh, yeah, so. Well, I'm, I'm quite into rap, so. I mean, I like music. I mean, you are very gangster. In general. <laughs> As you can tell, I'm a fox yeah. at the moment. What does the fox say? <laughs> They were playing that today at work. <laughs> um, I need to watch that documentary. Uh, I know we always end up talking about wrestling. There's a couple of things we need to kind of talk about. One, new champion, Bobby Lashley. You're not underrated. <laughs> overrated. I, uh, sorry, overrated. Yeah, sorry, that's what I meant. Um, Everyone like jumps on, jumps on him, but I think it's a bit boring. And as I, don't, thought, yeah. I just don't see the, the flash that everyone else um, The thing I like though, I was thinking this today, is that they built this faction to be like 
this powerhouse of a thing, and they are because you've got the tag team champions, you've now got the champion. I mean, they're not new, they are, or any kind of faction, DX or anyone like that, but how long is he going to be champion for? I think he's just champion until someone better comes along. Mm. Yeah. The thing is, everyone's like, oh, I hate The Miz. Why is he champion again? I absolutely love The Miz. The Miz is good. He's so funny and he's a good wrestler. He's good at his he, gimmick. He's good at uh, promos. His promos yeah. are. He's the best one at promos, I would say. To like do the them off the there. cuff, I mean, to give like re yeah. real emotion into it. It's when he came on and was like, ooh, I've won the belt again. Why is he <laughs> won the belt? <laughs> <laughs> it's just um, funny. He's a funny guy, isn't he? Yeah, I like him. Like, you see him on Talk Leavers and that, and I was quite... He's passionate about wrestling. I think that's what I like. So, I don't get... I mean, he's a heel. You're meant to hate him. So, if you hate him, he's doing his job right. But I can I mean, there's some heels I like. like. Sort of like JBL. Mm -hmm. <laughs> John mm -hmm. admitted that he hates JBL. <laughs> It's not that I hate him. I just I preferred when he was like an acolyte, I think. Um that's quite good the live one we did, wasn't it? Yes, we did a live um because I got a lot of questions, um just people asking about um John's Scratch heritage and just asking kind of uh whereabouts we're from in the UK and stuff. So I thought why not answer these questions and people can interact with us with by doing a live T Talk, and it was our first one. Um, and yeah, it was all right. We uploaded the footage onto YouTube. Yeah, we were a bit sideways because Kieran yeah. was doing his granddad stuff and didn't know what he was doing. <laughs> I know, I know for next time. Yeah, but it was well, good. I enjoyed it. It went really quick as well. We've got some good questions on, and we had people from America, which was fun. Some dude from yeah. Tennessee. Yeah, we had a guy sharing his birthday with us. Yeah. 36 years old. Not too shabby. I think we'll do one again, another live mm. one. Um, <coughs> talking about people getting older now, uh, have you seen the big show in AEW? I have, yeah. Have you seen his little teaser? Yeah, his special announcement. Um, so he's announcing somebody else, isn't he? Yeah, so he said it's a Hall of Famer. Who do you I think mean, it is? That could be anyone. That could be, I mean. <laughs> yeah, you really hate the Hall of Fame, don't you? <laughs> no, it's just because they put in like celebrities and people that are just, I don't think they're Hall, Hall, of, Hall of Fame worthy. Who do you think it is? I am going to take, shall we guess and see? I don't even, I don't know where to imagine. Um, okay, think, well, you, think of someone that would be good in AEW. I'm thinking maybe DDP, because I know Big Show does DDP yoga and stuff like that. So does everyone, because Chico does it. <laughs> well, um, exactly, Robert so that may be why he's going in it. He's in with everyone. It's a Hall of yeah. Famer. Is DDP a Hall of Famer? Yeah, I think he is. You, you got put in. Yeah, cause more because of like all the rehabilitation he's done for wrestlers. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm sure he's a Hall of Famer. What about like X Pac? Yeah, he's technically he? a Hall of Famer, isn't he? He's twice, is he not? I think. Yeah, as a part of a group, not by yeah. himself, but yeah. But he tagged in with the Big Show previously in WWE, mm. isn't he? Didn't he? So yeah, um, and I think X Pac is that kind of age where he has like maybe two more years, you know, until he kind of he'll retire for good. He still, he still kind of wrestles, doesn't he? Yeah. Um, yeah, I thought it was quite interesting. I like his new t shirt. Have you seen that? Yeah, no, no BS. more BS. That's yeah. clever. Yeah, that's quite clever. That, um, but yeah, that's the wrestling. Right <laughs> <laughs> uh, have you been up to much else? Well, I've got some exciting news, John. Um, Monday morning. Schools are back, aren't they? Emily's going back to school. <laughs> <laughs> oh, have you not enjoyed homeschooling then? It's just, it's just, 
It grinds on you. <laughs> uh, what have you done this week, Holmes? Go my mind. Um, we did. Oh, I can't remember the word is, but it's when like there's a double, um, the same letter <laughs> next to each other in a word. All right. I have no um, idea what that's called either. There is a word for it. I can't. Remember, I can't remember what it's called. So like, um, well. W E L L. Mm. And you know, words like that. But it's just a phonics. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, God. There's a song, though, guy, right, that um, so when you get sent home, then you get sent this like big file, and there's lots of stuff on, and there's mm. things you can click on. And there's a video that is on every now and again. And it sounds like Kate Nash. It's not, but it's that kind of, you know, that kind of, um, um, that kind of style. Did you and ever? Song, have... Sorry, it's so go catchy. What's it go like? It goes. <clears throat> I'm a terrible singer. So it goes. Tricky words. These are tricky words. Don't let them trick you. And it goes uh, like, for example, <laughs> the, 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 the. T H E. These are tricky words. Don't <laughs> trick you. It's just, honestly, it's so catchy. Um, did you ever have the times table on, like a tape, and it was songs? Do you remember that? You just yes. see it from the early learning center. Yeah, I've actually got it. You know, of course you do. You're such a hoarder. <laughs> you are a hoarder. No, it's when when I moved into this house. Here we um, go. Yeah. It was in the loft. But I did used to have it, so I've got it on tape. Some bangers on that, mate. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Especially the free time table. <laughs> when the nightclubs reopen, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> two, uh, two. Yeah. Because uh, I always struggled with my time table. I still do a bit now. I'm always, it's the sevens I get mixed up with. Yeah. My brain's just can't computer. Everything else I can kind of remember. Well, that's a good thing you're a chef, isn't it? Yeah, it's just the five batches. <laughs> <laughs> um, I mean, I'm pretty good at math, so it's just this. I always get, I think it's seven times eight, I can never remember. I'm not going to try and. Uh... <laughs> this is where you say the answer, Kieran. Yeah, yeah. No. <laughs> Can we edit um, and then I'll, I'll say the answer. <laughs> I still don't know the answer. Yeah. Is it 49? Oh, no. I, I would have to work it out. But I, I'm too tired for that. Uh, hey. uh, I haven't really been up to I've been filming a skip this week, which is Excellent. fun. Yeah. Because uh, I don't know what happened, but like last year, there was a day where we cut down a tree. As you do. And we put some of it in a skip and then I never went in the garden again and the tree was still there so we kind of filled up a skip. Um, mm. It was quite fun. It was a good good weather on the weekend, wasn't it? It was, yeah. It's uh, slowly starting to get better, which is always good. Are you missing the mass Singer? In a sense, I'm just missing something to watch. However, Sally Night Takeaway has replaced it for me. It's so it's a bit weird, isn't it? But I quite it's been good. I absolutely love Stephen Mulhern. Yeah. I always have done. <laughs> oh yeah, he's he's always good, isn't he? He's So the reason I like him is because when X Factor was on, X Factor was quite funny when you have the horrible audition tapes and whatever. Uh Brent's um, talent. Uh yeah, Brent's talent. Hmm. Um I say I'm tired, you know what I mean? And they used to be Britain's Got More Talent, which Stephen Mulhern used to present. Now, on Britain's Got More Talent, he used to take the uh, the, the pure mick out of the contestants. <laughs> and it was so funny. Like, yeah. And the contestants had no idea. I love, um, yeah, it was always good. I, I think I watched that rather than watch Britain's Got Talent. Yeah, I did. Oh, I no, was like, he um, I mean, he's good on catchphrase, isn't he? Yeah. And in for a penny, in for a... I love in for a penny. That's so good as well. You, you missed your cue there. <laughs> in for a penny, in for a... 
pound. Unbelievable. A grand. <laughs> you, know, you don't watch oh. it. <laughs> I can't remember the catchphrase. Of course you can. I haven't watched it in ages. I love a good catchphrase, you know. Don't just watch the ads. Record them and fast forward. No. Win the ads. <laughs> don't just watch the ads. Win them. Then that what you do. <laughs> I, do you know? Do you know? Love a good catchphrase. Yeah, I do like catchphrases. I used to like. Roy Walker's was always good, wasn't it? It's yeah, but good, when, I, it's not when right. I say half, the thing is, when I say half the catchphrase, you're meant to say the other half. That's kind of how it goes. I know. I'm so can we, can we play that? Can we play this game where you pretend, you know? Okay. Right. <laughs> Do you know what else I like? Um, the most iconic one. Nice to see you to see you. Nice. Nice. It was good, it was good but it, it was a bit delayed. But yeah, I'll, I'll have that. I'll take that. <laughs> Good game, good game. <laughs> he had them all. You would ever watch like uh, play a card right on like challenge? Mm. He's got about twenty catchphrases <laughs> before he even starts. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I love all that. Yeah, um, I think that's it. Let my tea's finished. You cup of tea. Yeah, it is actual tea. Yeah. He's here again. Says R L. Thank you, Sure, Owl. Says R L or Big T. Eh? Hey, you having that one? Not Big T. Big T. My no? mother in law is called Tina and we call her Big T. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Big Did... T. Oh, God. <laughs> okay. Shout out to uh, Tina there. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anything to look forward to? I mean, it's we talk. In. Yeah, it's a while though, isn't it? Do Why do you always do that? <laughs> it's such, it's it's such a, a while, mate. It's a while. Don't ruin it. You need to look forward to. Yeah, I mean, you'd you'd message me the day of the. Scotland versus England game. Yeah. Fancy his chances, do you? 18th of <laughs> June. It is. 8 pm. 18th of June, 8 pm. Mm -hmm. And the final and semi final is at Wembley. Why is that? Because you're not hosting it, are you? Is that a mixture? Um, well, yeah, it was meant to be a mixture because of COVID, but um, England have offered to. Um, host the tournament, this tournament. Right. And on that, uh, Boris Johnson wants to host 2030. Cup, yeah. That'd be good, a World Cup. Yeah. Um, Hopefully, you can make this one. <laughs> <laughs> well, we are playing quite well. We've got some good players. Hmm. I've got a good. Um, joke for you. I, so I sometimes use this right. So, um, what? Well, how does the joke go? So it goes: the first time I ever made love to a woman, I didn't know what I was doing. I, I was just like, I felt like Scotland in the World Cup. Just happy to be there. <sighs> God. You like that, John? No. <laughs> um, <laughs> do you know when you're going to be doing stand up again? Um, soon, like May, mid May, end of May. Mm. With amazing jokes like that. <laughs> <laughs> you must have some good material. Yeah. I mean, there is the incident. Where my daughter, so my daughter got a microphone for Christmas, like a microphone stand and a microphone, and she's singing away. And for whatever reason, she thought I could probably jump that. So she takes three steps back and tries to <laughs> jump over the microphone stand, and Bessie runs on it and uh, cuts a hole in her bottom. She was like an inch away from her, mm. you know. 
yeah. next to me about Queezer. Oh, well, I saw you a picture of dinner, of, and it was quite a big I mean, gash. <laughs> she's just, she's just stupid. She's dopey. Her, who does she get that off? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> uh, all right. So, like I said, the live one is available to watch. On a, I'll be got a new YouTube channel site. Aren't Take it away, John. Can you remember that? www.youtube.com slash turnbuckle talk podcast. Yes, it's not bad that. Can you remember the old one? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> www.youtube uh, slash 125687share12x explanation mark question mark kkkxwcyb. Slipping the keys in there. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there's lots of good videos to watch. In, my opinion. <laughs> um, there's like good interviews, more of these. The live one is good. I'll go and watch it, see what it's like. We kind of left it unedited so you can kind of get it. in case we want to do a live again, you can see what it's like. I mean, we should do a live again at some point. I don't yeah, know. I think we should. Yeah. Some good questions sent in. Yeah. Um, but yeah, join us again. Don't forget Send to like it. and subscribe and share with all your friends. I'm still waiting on these pits of the teapots. No one's got a teapot. Teapots aren't really a thing anymore. I mean, mm. Mr. Doyle has one. Yeah. His head, but that's about it. Nobody has teapots anymore. It's like tea cozies or doilies. Nobody has them anymore. <laughs> I never understood what a doily was for. I don't know, but I love the word doily. 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 <laughs> it's a good word, isn't it? But yeah. Uh, Thanks for watching. Subscribe. Wherever it is. That way. That way. Yeah, it's that way. Um, and we'll see you again. Oh, and we're about to record an episode on... What's it on, Kevin? <laughs> You're so good. Uh, so we do an episode <laughs> on um, when... Um, the script... When, it, when wrestling goes off script, basically. There are moments yeah. where it just goes a bit... Off the rails. Should be an interesting one. Mm. Check it uh, out. That'll be up soon. I'll see you later. Right. <laughs>